What's up, David fam, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Obviously, you can tell by the title down below. We're just kind of doing a little quick update as to where I've been, what's been going on, and also doing a little bit of um, unboxing because I have some things that I've piled up that I need to unbox. Um, but yeah, so if you guys just want to chill out here with me and watch me unbox a few things and talk about my life and what's been going on then you guys know the gist. If you like videos like this, this video a big thumbs up because it helps me so much. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. Don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl, Sandra D. And let's just go ahead and get into this. All right, this is your first time to my YouTube channel. Hello, how are you? I do post videos two or three times a week. They're beauty, lifestyle, and makeup videos. I also do unboxings, a bunch of other things. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and pretty much today just kind of do a little bit of a, a life update what's been going on because I haven't really been posting, haven't really been on social media that much and um, doing anything. Um, so I kind of just want to let you guys know. So I've been a little bit of distance um, from social media just because my grandmother passed away. I had to take emergency PTO and I had to fly basically halfway across country um, here in the U.S. to go to Florida, which really isn't that far if you fly but if you drove like how my sister and her family did um, abruptly um, to make sure they were able to be there for the family um, to the funeral also how my parents drove it's a very long way from Indiana um, to drive all the way to Florida especially it's southern Florida so um, yeah my grandma passed away so I kind of was just more or less spending time with friends and family I also had a best friend that luckily I actually lived about half an hour away from where my family was at, so I stayed with her for the week, um, which was amazing to actually have a friend to talk to um, about life and things in general. Um, and I hadn't seen her in two years. Well, I mean, I've seen her, but I haven't really, like, she moved away two years ago. But anyway, so yeah, my grandma passed away. She was 103 years old. 103, which that is a life in and of itself um, to have lived. She lived it very... Um, I, could, I don't even know how to put it into words. She lived a very great life, surrounded by friends and family and just full of love and laughter. Um, I definitely got to spend a lot of time with her when I was younger, um, between like I think the ages of, oh God, probably from when I was born until like maybe a late teenager. So a decent part of my life um, growing up, and especially since she only lived about 30 minutes away from us um, and then also at one point when she wasn't really able to take care of herself my dad built a room onto our house for her to live in for a while um, until it became a little bit too much for just us to take care of her because his brothers and sisters um, had moved away to Florida and then she at one point ended up moving to Florida with them to where she lived the last 20 years there um, of her 103 years of her life um, in Florida with the rest of my cousins and family and it's crazy to say um, especially since we are a Hispanic family we are huge um, come to find out the total obviously she had um, seven seven kids um, my dad was one of them and uh, she had 30 grandchildren just the 30 firstborns um, of grandchildren then 49 great grandchildren and then like i don't know it's a huge number like she had a lot of a lot of relatives so for people to say you've had grandchildren great grandchildren and great great grandchildren um is crazy it is crazy to say i am very sad by the situation of it all because uh, the last time i saw her was at her 99th birthday party um which was four years ago um, but it was still great to see her. It was great to be around friends and family, um, especially during this time. And I can't tell you how much I loved bonding with my cousins um, this time around. It was a completely different experience than what I've had in the last ones. Especially, I feel like it brought us even closer than what we ever were, at least to me. Because I know they're close because they're, they all get to be there. Um, but it was... An amazing experience at least for me and, and my sister because we live so far away from our family but I know if we were near them um, definitely I'd spend so much more time with them because they're just so much fun to hang out with um, and when you get a bunch of Latinas together you know we're, we're a great time we're a great time um, 
it's such a good time. But yeah, that's kind of where I've been. I'm just kind of trying to get back to reality, trying to get back to life. Um, she definitely was a matriarch of our of our family. She definitely was the the rock of it all. Um, and it's just I, I'm glad I have a lot of memories with her. And I can't say, um, you know, she helped me speak Spanish when I was little. And obviously, I don't really speak it as much as more, but I definitely know the gist of it. Um, but still, it's it's hard to say that she's gone, but she's still with me and will always be in my heart. Um, luckily, I actually have a photo of her from when she was her 90th birthday party. So this is my grandma right here, and then this was her when she was younger. So, yeah. Um, and that has actually been sitting next to my stand, my makeup stand, since then. Um, I'm trying not to cry. Wow. About to cry. Not going to. Um, I haven't truly cried since her funeral, which was really, really hard. Um, but yeah, she has been with me every single day. Um, yeah, anyways, so let's move on to the unboxing and show you guys some of the products that I have here. Bringing it back in, Sandra. Okay, so I have some boxes here that I have been that's been set aside for a while. Some of it I got before I left, some of it I got when I got back home. Um, but yeah, I was gone for about a week-ish, Sunday to Sunday. So seven, eight days, however that exactly correlates. Um, but then when I came back, I had a few days off and I was still trying to pull myself together. I actually was sick, so I wasn't even really able to film on the three days that I had off because I just was not feeling good. I was very fatigued. Um, just from the, the previous week. But I do have some boxes here that I really want to show you guys. So this first one, although it is a very, very big box, there was only one item in it. Um, and it was this from Lancome. Um, crazy to say, I did not order this. Um, this was sent to me in PR via influencer via Lancome to review for them, um, to talk about skincare, which you, some of you guys who know on here, I love skincare. I'm all about it. I have some nighttime routines, I have morning routines, I have everything over the sun to do with my skin to make sure I take care of it. Again, I've been having some recent chin breakouts, no clue why, but the rest of my face has been fine. And actually, over the past few years, I've rarely ever had any breakouts, which is nuts. But it's crazy to say that I got this, and when I did get this in the mail and I got it in PR, my fiance was just like, He's like, that's some bougie stuff. And I said, yeah, it is. It's long comb. And the retail price of this is $135 on Sephora's website. What? And your girl got this for free? Okay. Keep them coming. I keep it coming. Anyways, but I will say this has actually been really good. Um, I don't know how many ounces. It's 1.69 fluid ounces. And I've been using this day and night. You can use it day and night. It's just supposed to like hydrate your skin, um, rejuvenate it. It's supposed to... Um, help with like wrinkles and fine lines and all that kind of stuff when it comes to like the aging process and your girl's not getting any younger so definitely been loving this so far so that was what was in the first box on its own then the next box that I got is actually the beauty box for spring this is the Walmart beauty box it's like $7.99 I think um, plus tax you do get an assortment of items in here, some that are full size, some that are sample size, which is why I keep getting it. You do get a little pamphlet that's in here as well. Um, and it does show you all the products that you are possibly able to get in here. So right off the bat, I did get um, a sample of the CoverGirl Skin Clear, I'm sorry, the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Care Color Correcting Serum Moisture color correcting serum moisturizer and primer so there are four different samples in here um, let's see there is one for fair skin tone light skin tone medium skin tone and deep skin tone um, obviously for me I'd probably be using the first two um, the first one is for redness and neutralizing the other one is for brightening they also have for dullness and to reduce dullness and then another one that is the darker one, which is meant for dark spots. So I definitely want to give that a go. I didn't even know CoverGirl had this. So I'm super excited to try that out. Then the next thing on here, we've got a little perfume sample from Juicy Couture. Um, and this is in the, the It's Sunny Honey Rock the Rainbow. This is 1.5 milliliters or 0 0.05 fluid ounces. Ooh. I do like that. Oh, 
I dropped it. But that does smell really, really good. Um, it does have notes of Italian lemon, jasmine blossom, um, golden amber, and I think that's pretty much it. So, and then the full size bottle, it looks like that. That's a really pretty bottle. Love that. Okay, cool. Um, and next we have a small little perfume in here. This is a body spray. It is the Japanese Cherry Blossom. So we did get another perfume in here. Let's see how this one smells. Ooh, and that one smells really pretty too. Again, smells very floral, but I do like that scent as well. Um, and then just to kind of go off of the CoverGirl samples, the full size is one ounce and it's $14.98. The full size for the um, Japanese Cherry Blossom Body Spray is $5.99 and you get eight ounces. This little sample right here is one ounce. So actually that's a pretty decent size. That's travel size. That's I'm loving the travel stuff because I've been traveling and I had to go out of town for stuff and I'm still going to be traveling for work again so I need it. I definitely need it. Okay, then the next thing we have in here, this is the Mark Anthony Love Mark Anthony products. The Repair Bond and uh, Repair Bond Repair and Protect Leave In Treatment. Girl, I love a good leave in treatment. Love this. Um, I love Mark Anthony products. This right here is one fluid ounce, um, but the full size is 8.4 fluid ounces and it is $8.47. Again, all these products you can find at Walmart, which is really, really great. Then I have the Neutrogena Hydrating Cleansing Gel. Again, travel size. This right here is 0.5 ounces. The full one is 7.8 ounces and it is $8.99. Then we have another travel size item in here. This is the Facial Toner Witch Hazel Unscented. The full size is 8.5 fluid ounces. This right here is three ounces and funny that they say that because guess what? I have the full one right here. So I've actually been using this one. This is the rose petal one, and again, it is 8.5 fluid ounces. You can find the full size one for $7.97 at, um, at Walmart, but I actually picked this up from Marshalls, um, and it was $5.99, so I saved some do a dollar and some change. So you can definitely find a lot of these products actually at Marshalls or TJ Maxx. I definitely say pick them up because I've been really loving the way that it makes my skin feel. Um, it has been trying to help keeping some of this acne at bay. So I've been using this in the morning and at night with a cotton pad. So there is that. And the last but not least, another full size item in here, um, or a full size item. I think this is the only full size item we have in here, but it is these nails by Kiss. It is the Kiss Gel Fantasize um, Collection Nails. I will say that though, there's a little weird black spot in there. Can you see that? I don't know what that is or if that's mold or what. Um, but these are worth $7.97. Um, it just says sculpted nails, high volume gel nails, um, mega adhesive tabs, and glue included. So however you want to apply these, that's how you can put them on. They are like a coffin style um, type, I think, I think that that's what it is. But yeah, it's long length. Typically I like to have like short length, so I might even like file them down and cut them but definitely cute. So there is that. And obviously the price of this, these nails right here is actually the price of what this box is. And you see all the items that we got. So we actually got, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things in here. I love that. Um, and yeah, super cool. Um, what else could we have gotten? We could have gotten some lashes from Halsey's brand. Um, we could have gotten an EOS shave balm. We could have gotten a shampoo. Um, what else? A cleanser, another serum, another shampoo conditioner. Oh no, I'm so sad. I wish we would have gotten this. Another option that could have been in here is the Sweet Tooth by Sabrina Carpenter. I've been wanting that perfume so bad. I'm so mad that I did not get that in here. But either or, I'm still going to buy it. I really want to buy it. It sounds like it smells really good. Um, but yeah, that's just really sad. Oh, and we also could have gotten the new Maybelline mascara. But in my last box, I got a mascara. And I just opened it for the first time today. Um, and I actually do like it. It's this CoverGirl one. So it's the Lash Plumping Mascara. Anyways, so that is everything we got in that box. 
last but not least for boxes is this box. My battery is flashing at me. So let's go ahead and change that really quickly and I'll come back to that. Anyways, so this was, whoa, this box is about to fall apart. This is the first box in April, the, the whole conjunction. There is a little bit of a newsletter in here. Um, it says, same great subscription you know and love, now with more perks than ever. And then basically just shows me some of the products that I could have gotten this month. Um, it doesn't really show... Build your own May box is May 2nd and May 3rd. So it is today actually coming. I'm filming this at nighttime. You guys already know I film at nighttime. So, um, but basically I get to choose three products. Two products are chosen for me, but I also have the booster on there. So I get an additional product um, that I get to choose from. Then it's saying that introducing the iconic box will be by Anastasia Beverly Hills. So that'll be cool. Um, more exciting news, a chef makeup artist, this girl, anyways, so there's that, no prices, again, that are in here, but it is what it is, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up, also I will say they gave this like weird confetti shenanigans in here, I could have done without that and they could have just had the uh, padding, because now this just makes a mess um, that I technically really just don't need. Um, and trying to get these products out of here. So first thing in here, I have one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight products in here, but it's because I bought two that were add-ons. So the two add-ons, just to get those out of the way, is the Brogio Superfoods Avocado Kiwi Mega Moisture Hair Mask. Um, I got that, and then I also wanted to try out the Poralise Dragon Fruit Niacinamide Strength Boost and Radiance Improved Texture um, All Skin Types. So there's that. Um, th so those are the two added products I got. Then we have, like I said, starting off our two Hip Dot sponges. I've had sponges by Hip Dot before, but again, it is a product that is made in China. So there is that. Then we got the Detox Dry Shampoo by Dry Bar. I don't think I've ever had a Dry Bar dry shampoo. I did have like a heat protectant um, that I did use for a little bit, but I've never tried their dry shampoo, so that'll be really nice to have. And I am, almost, well, I just bought a new dry shampoo, I lied. Um, but I can still use it. Then we have an item by Tula. Love that, I love Tula products, first off. Love, love, love Tula products. This is the Resurfacing and Brightening Fruit Enzyme Mask. So I've never had a mask by Tula. Um, but this is what it looks like. And then is it a pump? So it is a pump. Okay, so basically it just says, instant exfoliates the skin with Resurfacing enzyme mask that re reveals brighter and smoother looking skin. Superfruit enzymes with AHAs, probiotics, um, probiotics extract in gentle like gel texture. Um, it just says apply on to clean skin, leave on for 8 to 10 minutes, rinse with warm water, use 2 to 3 times a week. So that would be really nice to add to my collection. I love skincare. I love skincare. Anyways, okay, so moving on. Then we have a product that's just kind of sitting in here. It doesn't. It's not in any type of packaging, but I do know exactly what it is. It is the J Lo Beauty that fresh that fresh take. Um, I do believe that this is an eye cream. So it's the that fresh take eye cream is what it says at the bottom. Again, cute packaging. Let's see if we can get it off. Um, there's that. I think it's just like a regular yeah, just like a regular cream. I don't want to get it all over the place. Um, which I just kind of slightly did. Ooh, but that does feel really nice on the skin. I will say a little. It does feel really, really nice. Okay, then the last two products out of this box. Um, this one is a lip mask by Ciate London with a collaboration with a Smiley, which is Smiley Faces. Um, what kind of a lip mask is it? It's probably like the Laneige ones that everyone's been like trying to copy. So yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. I don't think it really has a smell or a scent to it. It says two-in-one everyday balm and mask. So you can use it as a lip balm if you want to, or you can use it as a lip mask as you go to sleep. So there's that super cute little smiley on top. And then we have this product by Fenty. This is the Fenty Gloss Balm in the shade Lemon Lava. 
and I do not have this. And this is the one in heat. So the heat ones are the ones supposed to be lip plumping. They're supposed to give your, your lips that plumping effect. So uh, this is really cool. Love that. I know this is a newer line to Fenty. Um, they do have some really cool fun shades. Like the really dark one went viral earlier, like last year or something like that. But that's really exciting to have in my collection. So I will say that box was actually very nice. Um, from the Tula product, the Fenty, the JLo Glow, the Dry Bar, um, and obviously the Smiley Face. So, I mean, these products right here, I'd be, I'm very happy with this box. And then obviously I had two extra products I added on. The Hip Dot Sponges, I could have done without because I have plenty of makeup sponges um, for right now. But there is that. All right, that is the last of the three unboxings that I have. Then I recently went to Ulta, so I figured I might as well share that with you two at the same time. Um, yeah. Also, we're going to talk about the makeup that's on my face. I recently did a my last collab video with my um, girl gang, the RBSG group. It is the last collaboration makeup challenge video. And I just kind of did this like simplistic, dewy makeup, um, everyday kind of, you know, makeup, no makeup kind of look. So if you guys are interested in watching that video, then go check it out. I'll link it down below for you guys. Um, so today I went to Ulta, not knowing, I should have looked before I bought stuff to like activate like the, the member stuff that gives you like extra points. I'm dumb. I didn't do that. Also, I didn't see there was a 10 off 50. So stupid because I was so close to spending $50. Did I really need to spend this money today? No. Did I want to spend it? Yes. Um, but it was just so happened that when I went... Um, the reason why I went first off is because I went to go purchase the NYX Fat Lip, um, lap, oh my god, Lip Drip Fat Oil, whatever this is. I had this shade. I lost it somewhere in Florida, so I went and picked it up again today, but they also had the, like, ready, reddish pinkish shade, and this is in the shade, um, Newsfeed, so I'm happy I was able to pick up a different shade, because last time I went, I went, it was when it first came out, and it was, there was, like, nothing. It was just this brown shade, but people are sleeping on this brown shade. It is pretty. It's a very natural, like, nude looking shade. And then Essence was having a buy two, get one free. So I picked up my favorite mascara, which is the um, Volume Mascara by The Lash Princess. And then I also picked up the Waterproof False Lash Effect. I figured these two would go really good together because, you know, I need a waterproof mascara. Although, did I need more mascara? No, because I ha currently have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 mascaras open at the moment. And sitting in my backup collection, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 mascaras back there, plus 9 and 10 now. So, you know, I just have to restock. I really didn't need it but I bought them. Um, but then I also am trying out this for the first time. This is the Essence Redness Reducing Primer um, Balancing and Calming with the Green Tea Extract. Again, because I've had this like redness and this breakout on my chin, I thought I'd give this a go. I've been staring at these primers anyways when they first came out um, because there's a like pore mattifying one, there is a uh, hydrating one, and then there's this one. And this one's supposed to have like a green tint to it, so I'm gonna squeeze it out. Just so you guys can see what it looks like. Because I've been kind of curious at the same time too. Um, and then you kind of just melt it in. Ooh, but that does feel really good. And it doesn't have a really like a, a scent to it at all either. So hopefully that works in some capacity of a way. And then last but not least, I picked up two of the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealers. I threw away my last one like a while ago during my decluttering series that I had during Christmas time, I believe. Um, and then I picked up these two because A, I really like this concealer, but B, I love the lighter shade, obviously for like contouring and highlighting. But I also wanted a shade that was closer to my skin complexion. I'm hoping I got the right shade. The lighting in there was a little off and I think I got too dark of a shade now. Um, but either or, it'll work when I'm tan during the summer, so it will not not get used. So we'll figure it out. One of the reasons why is because my favorite concealer right now that I've been using is the Sephora Best Skin, um, and I feel like it's drying out. It's hit hitting its last legs, and I was needing a new concealer. So I was hoping at some point I was able to match it, but I don't think I did. I think I got too dark of a shade. I might need to take that back and not open that at all. 
All right, so that was the end of this video of me unboxing, showing you what I recently purchased, just talking about life and updates. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I love you guys so, so much. So you know the gist. If you like videos like this, this video a big thumbs up because it helps me so, so much. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel because you know you want to. And don't forget to go ahead and hit that notification bell down below so you never miss a video with me, your girl.